I've uh, grown up with asthma my entire life, um, ever since I was born and raised. I had a lot of trouble uh, breathing, so a lot of uh, activities uh, like soccer or sports and uh, playing outside took a lot of a whole effect on me. A whole lot of times when I went to go uh, hang out with my friends, I, they would want to go play soccer or uh, football and sports, and uh, I had to say no the whole time, uh, whole time because uh, it, I couldn't do that because of my asthma, um, of how severe it was. Um, I remember a time where I was walking to the store uh, in the snowy weather, and I came back home, and instantly from the heat, uh, the house gave off. It just automatically went into an asthma attack. One of the things that uh, I would do to to help uh, this asthma go away was I would use my inhaler, uh, and I would carry it with me 24/7. Uh, when I went to go to bed, I would have it there uh, in reach. So when I woke up and and I had troubles breathing, I would be able to use it. I looked up remedies, natural remedies, uh, to even help with this uh, asthma, but nothing really uh, worked and nothing I did or tried to do, uh, ask the doctor, I, I, it didn't work. So I, it just left me with no choice but to, to suffer with this uh, disease. Uh, so I finally came to a Hungry Generation about two years ago. Uh, during the Race to Deliver conference, and it was my first time in a long time since I've been here. Uh, but uh, during the end of the service, they were calling um, for, for healings. Uh, we were praying over our uh, healings over a disease. And last year, I attended Hungry Generation's annual uh, Race to Deliver conference. And uh, at the time, my friend had invited me to come. So I came, and uh, where we worshipped, we heard the word. But at the end of the service, we we were praying against uh, the diseases over our lives. I took that step of faith of giving it in full to God uh, to take this disease, uh, this asthma disease, um, out of my body, away from my life. And uh, as we were praying, uh, I felt the sensation through my body, this heat and this uh, electric shock going through my body, and I, I then started uh, breathing rapidly. You know, I was able to, you know, I, I was being able to breathe, and you know, I took a full breath. You know, and it was just like <sighs> it was, it was a, it was a relief. I could take a deep breath, and I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I. I Really, there was no doubt that I wasn't healed because, you know, it was just, you know, in, in God, it, you know, all things are possible. And now I'm able to, uh, to run. I can, I can run as long as I'd like without getting these sharp pains in my body. Uh, I don't use the inhaler anymore. Um, it's been about a year now since I've been healed and delivered from this uh, disease. Know that God will heal you because there's nothing impossible for God. Uh, he's the same uh, yesterday, today, and forever. He will ne never leave your side. He will always hear your prayer and just know and just declare that, that your healing is coming. My name is Nehemiah and this is my testimony.